Big Bird, what, um, when it comes to, like, see, I don't, like, I still use, like, the traditional, like, grease and, you know, like, regular pomades, like the, you know, the grease-based ones. What, like, in your opinion, like, what's some of, like, the best uh, water-based pomades that you've used that you would, like, tell anybody to try? I mean, only the few ones I've used are, like, the more common ones. Like, I think, like, there's Layrite. I've seen that one around. Mm-hmm. And uh, Suavecito is a newer one. That one's pretty popular, and it has a fair price, so you can't beat that. Yeah. And they got, like, a medium and strong hold. And it's practically like a gel, but it dries up pretty stiff. So you could like, shake your hair, like, into a pump or, you know, like, spikes and stuff like that. Right. Or slick it back, and it stays a pretty firm hold as long as it doesn't get wet. There's a little, there's, like, Shiner's Gold, too, makes, like, a gel type of pomade. This seems to hold up fairly good. Yeah, because, like, I've been meaning to, to go on and order some of this stuff, but uh, I want to do some reviews on the, uh, the some of, like, the non-grease pomades, because I know that's, like, really popular right now, and I got, you know, I got cats that are asking about, like, you know, different, you know, water-based pomades and, like, what <clears throat> works, what's good, and I think a lot of it also depends on the type of hair. Like, you and I have, like, really wavy hair, you know what I mean? Yeah, okay, if you got, like, wavy or curly hair, you need something stronger, so I, that way it can, like hold its shape yep like right now all i'm using right now is um i've been using brill cream a lot i'm not trying to like do the like the really class like, you know i've always done like the really classic like high pumps and stuff now i'm kind of just like keeping it more like old school and original you know so is like the is like the water-based pomade is it uh, is it more expensive than like the grease stuff like you know dax murray's royal crown like the traditional stuff yeah, the, the traditional stuff for sure. Cause usually Murray's goes for pretty cheap, like about three, four bucks. Yeah, I think the Dax Red can about the same, mm-hmm. and I go around too. Like the the basic traditional stuff is fairly like a decent price, pretty affordable. Like some of the some of the newer pomades, they had like like different ones. They had like a super strong hold and stuff like that. But it probably cost you five bucks and up, like eight bucks, ten bucks, like some other cans. Yeah. Yeah, because some of the um, water-based pomades, I think they're roughly around ten dollars and up. Oh wow, shit, man, that's pretty. That's pretty steep, but I mean, if it works, I mean, fuck it. Yeah, they got a fairly good amount of hold on it. Like the cans for the water-based, they're like about the same size as like the regular ones, right? Yeah, it's for like pomades and stuff like that. Mm-hmm. Yeah, their sizes ain't too too different. Are you uh, you digging into your collection? Yeah, I'm looking into the archives right now. The archives. Oh, oh shit! You cats are in for a treat. So this is, this is an example of a different type of water-based pomade made by Steadfast. Oh, that's they pretty good. Pretty medium strong hold, kind of like the Suavecito. Mm-hmm. I mean, there's different brands out there. This is a newer brand, but it seems to have pretty good hold. Solid. And this is like your traditional Murray's can. Yep. So you see, they're, they're they're almost about the same size. Oh, yeah, 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 yeah. Yeah, the water-based uh, pomade can, the Steadfast, is about four ounces. The Murray one's about three ounces. Okay, so it's like a little bit more. Yeah, they're roughly about the same size, though, because some of these cans are kind of bulky. Yeah. But the same, same, same kind of stuff. And there's other, like, different shit out there, like this knockout one, which has a pretty strong super hold, but it's kind of pricey. Yeah, I like the artwork on that, too. That's fucking yeah. cool. That reminds me of some, like, old 1940s-style, you know, boxing, dude. Yeah, see, I got this at the thrift store for, like, five bucks. Let's see if I get that price in there. Oh, yeah, yeah, I see it, yeah. Four ninety nine. Yeah. Yep. I'm trying to look up the original price. I think originally these are close to, like, $17. Damn, that's, like, freaking crew, man. Crew's expensive. Yeah, see the barcode's, like, cut it off. Mm-hmm. But I look at the zombies at the thrift store. Hey, no, that's cool. But, uh, but in that same up- uppercut brand, this white can one, mm-hmm. the um, featherweight paste. Yeah, it's a pliable paste. This one's pretty strong and like stiff. This is pretty cool. Like if you got like long hair, or, like uh, like wavy, curly. Mm-hmm. This probably works pretty good, but it's kind of expensive. I mean, it's pretty cool. I mean, it's cool stuff to try out. Yeah, hell yeah, dude. Once in a while. Yeah, I definitely plan on uh, doing a little bit of shopping eventually for some, some of the you know the non, 
the non-petroleum based uh, pomade. I'd like to give it a try, see how it works with my hair, because I mean, I got really freaking out of control hair. Yeah, I think the cool thing that if you use like the hair dryer, it speeds up the drying process. That makes and sense. Just, yeah, and then you can just shape it how you want, and I think for the most part, it'll hold into position for the majority of the day. Not like with the grease, where sometimes you know it parts or you know it gets out of place, you gotta comb it back in and stuff like that. Mm -hmm. But it does have a different feel on your hair. But if you're used to using a like grease, Murray's, and that type of stuff, like a petroleum or greasy hair product, you get used to the way your hair feels. Yeah. Like with the gel ones, it washes out right away, and then but then your hair feels like kind of um, like puffy or like dry, I guess, at times. Mm -hmm. Kind of like with gel, like if, like, I remember when I was in high school at one point, I was doing some of like the more like, you know, like, you know how like when it's like really pushed forward and exaggerated, kind of like, you know, you start like pumping yeah. it more out like this. At one yeah. point when I was in high school, I used to use gel and hairspray and a hair dryer. So like what I would do is I would start yeah. off by putting a little bit of gel and I would take my pick and then like I would dry my hair and then kind of shape it. And then I would yeah. take hairspray and I would spray that shit and then like really kind of like get it to like, I take all the loose fucking hairs and then push them up and then roll them in. And that shit would actually kind of like roll out really nicely. <clears throat> but the thing is like the next day I would take like, after I go to sleep, I take the, the pick and I would pat the pick all that fucking hairspray and gel out. And that shit would hurt like a motherfucker. And then I would like have to respray it and kind of shape it again. Yeah. With the water, uh, water based pomades, it, uh, they wash out pretty good. Like they don't leave that like rest to do like the yeah. like the Murray or Grease product ones. Yeah. Yeah. Oh yeah, shit, dude. Back in the back in the days in high school when I used Murray's a lot, I still use it from time to time. Uh, like not recently because I just been doing like more of a wild kind of rebel without a cause look, you know. But back in the day, like when I had like the really high pumps and stuff like that. I would let that shit sit in my hair for like two, three weeks before I would strip it. And I remember, you know what I had to strip it with? You know that, uh, since you're a mechanic and everything, you know that, that fucking, that stuff, like you, you dip your hand in, it's like petroleum, it smells like gasoline and you have to like rub it. It takes all the grease off your hands and all the grime. I would take that shit and then I would like slick it into my hair and I would like fucking rub that shit in and let it sit for like half an hour and then wash my hair out. And then fucking shampoo it. <laughs> That's what it took to strip the fucking Murrays and Dax out. Yeah, those uh, hand cleaners, uh, the, yep. the greasers. Yep, the, yep the, the grease hand cleaners. That shit's strong as fuck. You go like to AutoZone or Cragen, you know, or you know, Cragen O'Reilly back in those days. Now it's just, I think, O'Reilly. O'Reilly, yeah. Yep. yeah, yeah, they took that shit over. I used to go there and I would always pick up a fucking, <laughs> like a tub of that stuff. And I would put that shit in my hair and get it out. Because especially like when I went to go get a haircut, I remember Mac, he was like, if there's any grease in your hair, I swear to God, I'm going to take my clippers and shave all of your hair off. Yep. <laughs> that was like his policy. If I find any fucking grease in your hair, I am going to fucking shave your hair off and you're going to go bald. <laughs> yeah, pretty much. You didn't want the machines getting jammed up. Yeah, well, you know, I don't see why, you know, here's the thing, man, because, like, I cut my own hair, and sometimes, like, when I cut it, I do have a little bit of residue left in it. I mean, honestly, dude, that shit just lubricates the blades, you know what I mean? <laughs> I just take my little brush, and I make sure I brush out any of, like, the hair, like, that builds up in it. But, dude, the la the blades are always lubricated. This shit runs like a champ. Yeah. <laughs> it's grease lightning. It runs like a lawnmower. <laughs> <laughs> Yeah, it's time to empty out the grass bag. And I still, man, you know, and it's like I did a video about uh, the secret to making a really good pump. Still, man, the hair pick is the best fucking shaping tool for a pump. Like, you want to get that really good exaggerated pump, the hair pick, man, is like, especially if you have thick and wavy hair. Like, you and I both have, like, really similar kind of hair. Like, we have really thick, wavy hair. And it's, like, hard as fuck to get, a like, a fine-tooth comb when you're, like, with, like, Dax or Murray's. It's hard to get that shit into your hair to, like, comb it. So a good, like, wide-bristled, you know, fucking hair pick, man, just does the trick every time. And I was using this shit back in high school. <laughs>